Welcome to the 34th annual Mount Royal Mustangs Volleyball Tournament brought to you by Shaw. Uh, here today with uh, Dan Alcorn and Brett Wagner. And the girls final is about to begin. The final features the Campbell Tartans from Regina against Saskatoon St. Joe's. Guardians. Haven't seen these teams play yet this year, so excited to see some good volleyball action. The St. Joseph Guardians, coached by Rianne Reeder and Kylie Bender. And the Campbell Tartans, coached by Tanya Harrison, Jordan Parisian, and Tiffany Herman. And the crowd seems excited for this one. Start things off, we have the Campbell <clears throat> Tartans. Number five back to serve, that's Danielle Weems. She grips in a floater. Looks like we got a, a net early, touch. early net touch on the Tartans here. Start of the game, uh, nerves are nerves are firing. The uh, discipline may be lacking. <laughs> that brings it one nothing for uh, St. Joe's, and that error brings it to two nothing St. Joe's. St. Joe's off to an early lead with number eight, Hadley Schmidt serving. Schmidt will float in a jump serve. Handled nicely by the libero. And a little miscommunication there. Swung and didn't get all the ball there, number 10. That was Emily Berenger. Yeah, little little miscue in the middle there. Again, at the start of the game, uh, you know, things like that can be expected. They'll, they'll clean that up as we go along. Brings it to three nothing for St. Joe's. Serving the libero again. And they set the high ball, another error. Brings us to four nothing St. Joe's to start this match. Yeah, nice comfortable lead for St. Joe's here. Number eight, Hadley Schmidt, putting the good pressure on with the serve. And she's consistently serving the libero, Alyssa Burant, who is passing quite well. It's just the hitter's not being able to finish off the rally. And there's the first point there for the Camel Tartans. Nice shot down the line from number 11, Allie Taylor. That brings us to 4-1, favoring Saskatoon St. Joe's. Back to serve for the Tartans, Chloe Bansley. Good pass there by the Guardians, dug up by the Tartans the barrel. Go to the high ball and a good strike there by number eight, Jordy McKirchern. St. Joseph's libero perhaps a little too far down the line there for the sharp cross mm -hmm. shot. Of course, you always want to stay up close to that attack line. You got that right, Danny. Chloe Basley to serve again. Her team trails four to two. It's a hard serve. St. Joe's with a high ball. Oh, and the libero puts it just too high for the Tartans. That's Barant who puts it into the ceiling. Yeah, nice hustle there by number 14, uh, Alyssa Burnt for the Tartans, just a uh, little overexcited and put her into the roof. Puts and us at 2 5 for the Guardians. Early substitution for the Guardians, number three, Tori Dobbin came in. That one's dug up by the Guardians. It'll be a free ball to the Tartans. Handled well, and the middle tips it over. Oh, a quick strike on the left side there by the Guardians. Oh, beautiful shot there by number eight, McKircher. And that one's dug up by the Tartans. And put away by Jordy McKircher. Great rally from both teams there. Looking like uh, the, the girls are settling, it out, settling down a bit out there, finding their rhythm. 
And that brings us to 5-3 in favor of the uh, Guardians. Tartan's back to serve. That's number 10, Emily Berenger, who, fun fact, her dad is my boss. Oh, that is a fun fact. Don't say anything bad. Never would. As the Tartans grab that point, she'll go back to serve again, trailing by one, 5-4 for the Guardians. We have a bit of a discrepancy between the digital score clock and the analog uh, down court side there. I think it's safe to say that digital is correct at 5-4 though, Danny. I think you're right. I'm not a mathematician, yeah. but, but it adds up. Yeah. Number three, Tori Dobbin with the strike. She'll set up her right side. That was Ryder. And they can't handle that, so the looks like the Tartans will go back to serve at a tie game, 5-5. Smart play there by the Tartans. Uh, saw the open corner and pushed the ball deep. Of course, you don't quite expect that as another team, so it's a good heads-up play. And that's Behringer back to serve for her third serve of the match. And that one goes to the top of the net. Good hard serve, but like you always say, you got to hit it over the net for them to play it. That is accurate. <laughs> I think that's the number one rule of volleyball. That's right, Danny. Back to serve 6-5 <clears throat> for the Sask Saskatoon. <laughs> St. Joe's Guardians. Tough serve there. That's a free ball over to the Guardians. They'll go with the right side, number three, and she floats one over. Tori Dobbin, and that hits the floor. A nice kind of roll shot, float roll shot there by Dobbin. I believe that was Peyton Toms, number three. Never mind, my sheet is wrong. <laughs> no problem, Danny. 7-5 for the Guardians. Good serve and good pass. And they feed number eight. That's Jordy McCurcher, and I think you're going to hear her name a lot. She's gotten, I think, four sets already in the start of the match. Little confusion with the refs. The linesman is calling a touch. And I think the point went the right way there. I think so, too. One would think the ball cannot go sideways without a touch. I agree, Danny. But good. I'm not a physicist. <laughs> good shot by McCurcher in there. Her team trails by one, 7-6 for the Guardians. As the Guardians feed number three, Tori Dobbin, on the left side for a kill. Yeah, nice quick line shot from Dobbin there. She's not hitting a ton of velocity, but certainly hitting it in good spots and has been effective so far. You got that right. Logan Ryder back to serve. Her team up 8-6 now. She jump floats one in, and that's deep and in the court. Beautiful serve. A nice ace there for Reeder. Oh, a little. little confusion with the score clock once again. Currently reading 10-6 Guardians. The fans are suggesting 9-6. Of course, those are the Tartan fans. Yeah. <laughs> As one fan uh, aptly explained, it's not 9-6, it's 6-9. Now we're at 6-10. I believe the correct score is 9-6. I believe that's right. For the Guardians. I guess we'll find out here as Reeder goes back to serve. Yeah, Logan Reeder. With a bit of a pause here, hopefully uh, not getting iced as a result as as they say. This year's friend of Mustang Volley, uh, JP Barker, who is not only a friend of Mustang Volley, but a friend of mine as well. <laughs> Great guy, that JP. Great guy. As a reader goes back to serve, she'll throw in a jump float here. An aggressive serve again. The libero takes that and they'll go to the high ball. McCure churn. Off the block and they can't handle it. Oh, apologies, that was actually Danielle Wiens. 
with an aggressive swing. And that brings Jordy McCurchin back to serve. Caught the blocker reaching up in the air. Of course, you want to reach into the court. Lest that happens. McCurchin with the serve. Oh, and that was a rocket that just sails deep on that one. Brings us to 11-7 for the Guardians. Yeah, tough miss for number eight, Jordy McGurkern there. I'm gonna learn how to say that by the end of the day. Uh, not certain on the uh, miscommunication here, but anyway, St. Joe's will get the serve and that'll be Dovin with the float. Good pass there. Oh, and shut down by number 10, Reese Evier. Yeah, a big block by Ether there. Uh, Ether's older brother, Devin, currently playing with the University of Saskatchewan Huskies, who are hosting the UBC Thunderbirds tonight. So it's a great night of volleyball in Saskatoon. 12-7, Guardians lead. It's handled well by Barant, the libero. As St. Joe's gets it up, they'll set number eight, dug nicely by the Tartans. And they'll go to their captain, and that one's dug. A good rally here by both teams. Oh, a little free ball there to the Tartans. They'll go back to number three, and she's shut down. Nice block by the Guardians there. Yeah, and they're fired up. As they should be with a 13 to seven lead to start this match off. Back to serve, Tori Dobbin. Great oh. serve from Dobbin. Oh, a smart play there by number eight, Hadley Schmidt of the Guardians to bring her team up seven points, 14 to seven to go into a timeout called by the Tartans. Yeah, nice little run put together by the Guardians here. Of course, uh, seven points is a fairly comfortable lead in volleyball, but you never know what's gonna happen. Oh. It's certainly a game of momentum and the momentum can shift. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Danny. 14-7 for the St. Joe's Guardians. This is the first set of potentially three. Again, you must win by two. Third set, of course, goes to 15 with a side switch in the middle. So you don't get the benefit of any wind or sun here in the gym. That could be a factor, especially if it starts snowing in the gym. Back to serve, Tori Dobbin for the St. Joe's Guardians. Her team up seven, 14-7 in the first set. And she puts that one into the middle of the tape. Campbell's coach will be happy about that one. Yeah, the old high school timeout, as they call it. Uh, of course, calling the timeout to ice the server. Often effective in high school, thus the name. And it was effective there. Back to serve. The Tartans, number seven, Victoria Aird, and she'll do a standing float, which actually had a bit of spin on it, but it was a good serve nonetheless. And they'll get the ball back here, and they'll go to their right side. A nice dig, but that one hit the ceiling. And that'll be a kill for number five, Danielle Weens. Yeah, just brushed the roof there. Of course, the roof is live in the States, not here in Canada. That is correct. We're much more civilized. <laughs> That's also correct. Aired with the serve, her team down five. Oh, uh, St. Joe's number 10, Reese Ether. 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 Yeah. yeah, good offense there from the Guardians. Nice speed in the middle there. Of course, speed kills, as they say. 15 9 for the Guardians. And Ether back to serve. She puts in a rocket of a float serve. <laughs> As a Tartans, number three, Chloe Bansley with a nice wipe off the block. That brings back number five, Danielle Weens, to serve. Her team trailing by five. 15 to 10, Guardians lead. She'll jump float in a nice serve, but it just doesn't go over the net. I think that's about the third or fourth miss for the Tartans, of course, in a, in a tough game against a good team. You, you, you're not doing yourself any favors by missing serves. Oh, errors are key here, especially when you get to the finals. 
as the Guardians serve that one. On a little. Two hits called there oh. on number six. Emily Cornelson, apologize for the pause. I've got a bit of a mix up on my information sheet. Back to serve. That's Chloe Bansley. She just trickles that one over the tape. A good serve. Handled by the Guardians. And they'll go cross court. Somehow the Tartans pick that one up. Free ball to the Guardians. They'll go back to her. And she'll take another rip. A good block by the Tartans. Guardians fire a tip deep. Good shot there by number six. Yep. Yeah. Good, good play from six there. That's good court vision to see the open corner. Tartans have done a good job here uh, putting their free balls over into position one. That, of course, makes things a little bit more difficult, and they're doing that consistently. Oh, and there's an ace, the first ace of the match, I think. 18-11, St. Joe's leads in this final. That was Alyssa Brandt, who just couldn't handle that one. Guardians back to serve again, 18-11. Nice float, handled well. And they'll run the step, goes deep cross, but a great one-handed dig there. And we'll get a nut violation on the Tartans. Yeah, pretty nice step run from the Tartans there to Emily Berenger, uh, but a great dig from the Guardians to keep that one alive. I believe that was Schmidt with a nice one-handed dig. And that brings her team to 19-11. As the Tartans give over a free ball to the Guardians, they'll go to the right side, no block. Beautiful dig by the Tartans. A little turn and burn there by number 11, Ali Taylor. Free ball to the Tartans. Oh, and a miscommunication there by Alyssa Brandt. Yeah, a bit of a, a, bit of a scramble here from both teams. It looks like we have a substitution here. That's number seven, Victoria Aird coming out of the game and Willow Skagos will come in for the Tartans as St. Joe's is back to serve at 2011. Another great serve there. And they'll run a quick in the middle and a set that looked to be just a little bit low, Danny. Yeah, perhaps a little low. Uh, momentum certainly in the favor of the Guardians here. The uh, libero for the Tartans seems to have hurt her back, so hopefully there's nothing serious wrong there. She's Stretching out, hopefully she can get back in the game. Never like to see a, uh, a, an athlete get injured. No, that's absolutely correct. So hopefully she can figure something out there and get her back in the game. 21-11 uh, for the Guardians right now. Momentum has certainly been on their side. Yeah, they've really just started with a, a gap, about six point gap right at the start and just ran with it so far in this first set. Yeah, good, good job by them to not only get the lead, but maintain it. Yeah, they're just playing solid ball. A few more errors on the Tartan side and that's definitely costing them here in the final. St. Joe's is playing a very, very clean game, minimal errors, and serving very efficiently and very aggressively. Yeah, if you can make your serves and make them tough, that's pretty good. So St. Joe's will come out of the timeout with the ball. 21-11. Cannot remember who is serving, but we will soon find out. Campbell needs to do something here to get a bit of momentum back. Uh, I would suggest that this set is probably out of reach, but certainly they would like to see some momentum on their side going into the second set. And Bristow with a nice aggressive serve. As Cambo sets the right side, number 11, Allie Taylor for the kill. A good use off the hands. Yeah, just a nice high seam shot from Taylor there. Of course, when you've got a smaller corner blocker and a bigger middle blocker, opens it up for a, uh, a tool in the seam. She definitely took advantage of that as Emily Berenger goes back to serve for the Tartans, trailing by nine in the first set. Tough good serve, serve. Berenger. As the Tartans receive a free ball, they'll go high and Allen's return to the Tartans. They'll set her again. A one-handed dig again by St. Joe's here. And Great. they'll give a free ball over the Tartans. 
as they go an inside to the right side who puts the Guardians in trouble. Great defense from both teams here. Let's see, oh, uh, error there by number eight, Jordy McKirchin. Just tried to tip that over the block and she couldn't quite get it over. Number 14, Alyssa Byrne, back into the game for the Tartans, so it's good to see no serious injury there. Yeah, hopefully she can <laughs> remain in for the rest of the match. Her team definitely needs her, trailing by 10 here, 22-12 in the first set. So good serve there by the Guardians. Pass up well by, that was Brandt. And a lot of net play here, and that one's gonna go the Guardians' way. Yeah, the Guardians' defense has been been great all game here. A lot of effort, but but pretty good ball control too. They're flying around all over the place, making great digs. Yeah, they. It's always frustrating to play against a team like that. As they lead by 11, 23-12 in the first. And they attack Barant again. <laughs> Guardians get the free ball. They'll go with the step. That's dug up nicely by the Tartans. And they go with the pipe, but that's hit just a little low by Bansley. Yeah, it's just a few too many errors by the Tartans here. And, and again, uh, the, the good defense of the Guardians tends to make you feel like you need to do more to score a point, and uh, that leads team to, teams to make errors. So the Guardians have been very, very effective here in the first set. As they lead 24-12, and a weird serve there. Usually it would be a spin to win at 24, but... I thought that was a rule, but maybe only in the States. That could be just in the States, so she floated that one over. into, Or, I guess, into the net. Back to serve for the Tartans is Allie Taylor. A nice, aggressive, standing float that's put into the ceiling by the Guardian, so that'll give the Tartans, gets them within 10, 14-24. Yeah, good ace from Taylor there, of course, you're serving at 24-14, not much to lose, so might as well be aggressive. As Taylor serves again, a nice serve. And that's just over by the Guardians. As the Tartans go high, and just a little too tight there for the high ball to get. 25-14, the final score for the St. Joseph's Guardians in what was very much a one-sided set. It was, the Guardians played well throughout the whole set, minimized their errors and didn't let their guard down. Good one. Thank you. And we'll be right back for set two. And both teams are ready to resume play here for the second set again. St. Joe's took the first one. Best of three, must win each set by two points. Third one to 15 points. And St. Joe's will get to serve here to start the second set. That'll be number eight, Hadley Schmidt to serve. I believe she is the setter for the Guardians. And you can expect an aggressive jump float here. Oh, she wants her teammate to warm up the ball for her. It's a bold strategy. Nothing we'll worse than off. serving a cold ball. That's true. I'll tell you that for free. Thanks. I don't have much money. She'll go back to serve. 0-0 to start the second set. Schmidt with the jump float. Great pass. Good start by the Tartans. That'll go to the right side. Dug up by the Guardians. They'll go to the left side, off the block and dug. And a big rip there by number eight. That's Jordy McKirchern. Yeah, big line shot from uh, Jordy there. St. Joe's block perhaps a little too far into the court, left her a fair bit of line. And she took a page out of your book, Brett, and, and hit that line shot. Yeah, back in the day, that was my goal, go to. And St. Joe's. Takes a rip at that one, number one. Logan Reeder with yeah, the kill. Nice rip there from Reeder off the block. Of course, as a defender, it's very difficult to dig something redirected off the block. So very, a nice smart hit there from Reeder. Very difficult. Back to serve, number 12, Victoria Spur. As her team's up. A little bit of a beach spinner there, but oh. uh, into the net for Spur. Oh, um, my mistake, it's 2-1 for Campbell right now. That is correct. That'll be number 11, Ali Taylor back to serve as we have a, a couple substitutions here for St. Joe's. 
That'll bring number 11, Danae Bristow, and number three, Tori Dobbin, back into the match. Uh, and that one is served just deep by yeah. Allie Taylor. Just missed it by about an inch there. Yeah, maybe, maybe two. Good aggressive serve. Back to serve, number six. I believe that's Cornelson. Emily Cornelson. 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 <laughs> and she puts an aggressive standing float. Great pass by the Guardians, or by the Tartans, I mean. And that's an international shot that there. That is an international shot nice. right there. Deep into the corner. Uh, it's what I like to call undefendable. Yeah. I was waiting for that one. I think that's the first of the match. That was the first international shot of the match, without question. Jordy McCurchin back to serve. She's getting her bounces in. She'll jump float. That one was looking like it could have been out of bounds, but they played it. As the Tartans will set their left side, and that's a beautiful shot, high and deep. Another international shot. A two in a row. That one off the top of the block, but still in the court. Yeah. A great shot there. Undefendable. As McCurcher and back to serve again. Her team are up now, 4-2. Good start by the Tartans in this second set. She'll do a jump float. Great serve. Passed okay by the Guardians as they go to the right side. That's dug up by the Guardians. And Dovin gets her own block. Yeah, the down nope. official signaling to the up official that the ball was not in fact touched, meaning four hits charged against the Guardians. Yeah, four is not allowed. It's not a good number in volleyball. It's one too many. That's true. McCurchin back to serve her team up 5-2. She's been serving very effectively oh, here. Another rocket. And the Guardians will go to their high ball and dug up by the Tartans, but they can't get it over. Brings the Guardians within two here, 5-3 in the second set. Yeah, good job of St. Joe's there to side out of that uh, rotation with McCurker and serving like that. <laughs> as, as the Guardians go back to serve. And that's Logan Reeder. A good deep serve. Oh, just missed the end line, and that one's out of bounds. 6-3. Just three. long. So a few more missed serves here from the Guardians early to start the second set. Tartans have come out with a lot more fire, a lot more energy. They seem to have a bit more momentum on their side. And a good pass there by St. Joe's. And that's dug up, but oh, a net violation there on number 10 on the Tartans. That'll yep. be St. Joe's point. Looks like she might have tripped a bit there and fell into the net. Ball was flushed down by Reese Ethier. 6-4. Campbell Tartans lead the second set as Dovin puts in a float serve. Tartans pass that well. That's tipped deep, a beautiful spot there. Of number three, Chloe Bansley with a nice deep tip to get the point. I think St. Joe's might want to move their position six digger. That would be the middle back. Uh, a little bit deeper on the high balls here. They've been beat deep about three times in yeah. a row now. We'll, we'll see if they make the adjustment there. Danny, we'll keep an eye on that. As St. Joe's feeds the middle and looking for a touch and she won't get it. Just a bit long. Not a lot of topspin on that hit, but of course a ball with float is much tougher to dig. Exactly right, Danny. I usually Ooh. am, Brett. Weens with the serve. Oh, handled well and a big rip there by number 11, Danae Bristow. Yeah, big rip there from Bristow. Brings her team to within three, eight five they trail here in the second set. Reese Ethier back to serve. <laughs> oh, a short float, and that's gonna. I tell you what, Brett, I'll say Reese Ethier's name if you say <laughs> McCurkern's name. <laughs> I think we got a deal here. Back to serve number 10. Reese Ethier. As her team trails by two here in the second set. Good serve and she attacks the libero again. Go to the right side and that one's tipped just over. And 
not being able to handle that was, I believe, number six and number eight. A little better offense from the Tartans here to start the second. St. Joe's not quite as effective on defense. No, and they, it score shows they're down three here, 9-6. As Chloe Bansley is back to serve, and beautiful serve there, and they're not going to be able to handle that one. 10-6, Tartans lead, second set. Yeah, nice serve there from Bansley. A little bit too much for the Guardians to handle. Bansley, the captain, back to serve. She fires another rocket, and that's going to be another ace. Two aces in a row, got to like that. 11-6, they lead now. And there we go with the timeout. Hopefully try and cool her down for St. Joe's coach there. So, so far a very much up and down game for both teams with St. Joe's coming out of the gate hot in the first set there, taking a big league, uh, lead excuse me, and maintaining it. Uh, Tartans here have reversed their fortunes and now have a five point lead of their own. Yeah, coach must have said something right in that five minutes he used to talk in that <laughs> intermission. So good job on him. And I guess maybe the St. Joe's Guardians were a little too calm coming into the second set, a little too relaxed. Yeah, of course, you never want to let the fact that you beat a team handily in one set uh, determine how you play in the next set. And that's what we're seeing right now in the second set here, as the Guardians handedly had that first set, I think by about 10 or 11 points. I think that's right. And the Tartans up five in the second, 11-6. As their captain, Chloe Bansley, back to serve for, I think, a fifth time in this set. Good serve again, and that one's an ace. To the ceiling, that was number five. Abby Hansen, the libero with a pass into the ceiling. The attempted high school timeout by Coach Reeder, ineffective yeah. against Chloe Bansley. Yeah, had the opposite effect of what she wanted. St. Joe's handles this one. Oh, but an error had in the attack there by Bri Bristow. <coughs> Brings Chloe Bansley back to serve at 13-6. Substitution for the Guardians will bring Victoria Spur back into the match, get a little bit different look on serve receive here. Bansley back to serve. See if St. Joe's can handle this serve. Just trickles over the tape, a great pass there by the Guardians. And they put that one away from the middle. Yeah, good answer there from the Guardians. That's number six, Emily Cornelson with the big kill out of the middle. It's amazing what happens when you get a good pass. Number eight back to serve, Schmidt. She'll jump load that one to Barant, and Barant has troubles with that one. Mishandled by the libero for the Tartans there. Looks like it might have only hit one of her arms. That is, of course, how I always used to pass. <laughs> Not very effective, though. Not effective at all. Schmidt back to serve for the Guardians, her team down by five. Brand handles that one a little bit better. Yeah. They'll go for the high ball, and that one's tipped, but not over the net. Error by number eight, Jordy McCurchin. Just trying to be a little too cute with it there. And that'll bring, I believe, Schmidt back for a third time on the service line. Trying to bring our team back here in the second set. They trail by four, 13-9. Jump float. They attack the libero again, who struggled a bit. Oh, and that one grazed the ceiling. Clearly hit the roof, no call yet from the refs. I think it'll be called here. Hit the roof audibly. A little miscommunication now between, I believe, the two officials. Of course, the roof hit a moot point at this time, given the four contacts by the Tartans. And that'll bring Schmidt back to serve again. She brought her team to within three. Going after Barant again. They'll set the outside. And I don't know if we got any touches there. Looks not. Great job by St. Joe's here, getting themselves back in the set. Scores now 13-11 for the Tartans. 
St. Joe's looking more like they did in the first set here. Yeah, and I think uh, timeout might be called soon here if Tartans can't figure this one out. And just like that, they figured it out. Now they're playing better. Yeah. <laughs> Miss serve there by Schmidt. 14 11, the Tartans lead this second set. Brings Emily Berenger back to serve. Oh, and that one's in the middle of the net there for an error, back to back errors on the serve. Brings back number 12, Victoria Spur. Hopefully she takes her time on a spur of the moment decision here on the serve. Little, little spinner coming from her. Oh, interesting serve. As the Tartans get that one over, but looks like St. Joe's just can't handle that one. A good touch there by Spur, but just couldn't get her up so her teammates could play the second contact. I still think the St. Joe's six digger could be a little bit deeper, make life a little bit easier on them. But perhaps there's a reason I'm up here, not down there. Perhaps. Another ace for the Tartans. Tartans certainly serving much more effectively this set. I think they've got four or five aces by now. Yeah, they're doing a, a much better job in the serves. And the attacks, actually, too. Much fewer errors. Taylor with the serve. Passed well by Dovin. They'll set the right side. A little bit of an inside set there. As St. Joe's digs that one, and Dovin will get the attack. That's played back to her. She'll get to swing again, and she just kind of floats that one over the block. As the Tartans try and tip it deep, but Guardian's ready for that one. Dovin hits a down ball over. They'll go back to Dovin. She swings line, but just out of bounds. Good rally there from both teams. Right. It'll bring Allie Taylor back to serve once again. Mm -hmm. Her team up by five here in the second set, 17-12. Nice deep serve, passed beautifully. And it looks like an error there, but yeah, there it is. Bit of a late call there from the ref. Yeah, much, much too late, I would say. On the four contacts charged against the Guardians, Taylor will serve again. Her In team up 18-12. 18-12 for the Tartans. Passed well by the libero. I believe that's Abby Hansen. As the Tartans swing their left side, who gets dug up, and they'll go to Dovin. We'll see, oh, and there. Not going to get the call for the touch on that one. Tartans nope. will get that point. Dovin into the tape again. Perhaps fatigue is setting in. It's late in the day at the end of a two day tournament. Yep. 19 12, Tartans. Dovin will pass that one. She's done a great job passing and an error by number six there. A bit of a miscue in the middle. I don't know if she didn't expect to be set or what, but seems to have forgotten to jump. Yeah, just hit that one a little wide. Jumping, of course, very important. <laughs> it is when you're attacking. 2012, the Tartans lead. As St. Joe's calls their second timeout of the set. This is their second timeout. That's good math. Thank you. Tartans fans trying to fire up their team. Yeah. Of course, at this stage, doesn't really look like they need much firing up. We've got a healthy eight point lead against the Guardians. Looks like we will likely be going to a third. Yeah, unless the Guardians have something to say about it. Tartans definitely, well, both teams want to bring up their momentum heading into the third set, if it comes to that. Yes. Number 11, Allie Taylor, back to serve. 2012, her Tartans lead. Nice float, Dovin. Passes that one and then gets the set, so she'll attack that one. Passed up, oh, by the Tartans, but then put into the bottom of the tape there by the Tartans. Tried to cut it a little too sharp there, almost got it under the net. Yeah. Trying to carve a turkey with that shot. So Thanksgiving is over though, of course. The 
A substitution here. They bring in number nine, Rachel Forbes. I believe the captain of the Guardians. Mm -hmm. Serving sub and good serve. Great pass by Perant there. Nice run on the 31 there from the Tartans. The speed was great. Spacing fantastic. And of course, that's the outcome you want. As Forbes did her job, did her duty, and she's subbed back out. Good serve by her. Brings back McKeerchern back to serve. Oh, a beautiful serve. Little miscommunication by the Guardians in the seam there. Both players looking at one another. Sure glad we didn't have to pass that, Danny. I'm glad too. I think the outcome would have been the same. <laughs> She'll go back to serve again. Her team leading by nine, 22-13. Another rocket. That one's passed up though by the Guardians. A good dig by the Tartans. The uh, body language of the Guardians certainly taking a turn from the first set. Tartans much more engaged, much more involved in the game. Back Should shape up to be a good third set. Mm -hmm. Back to serve McKeerchen. 23-13 for the Tartans. Oh, a little short little flow to switch things up, try and confuse the passers. As St. Joe's gets the kill off the block there. That was number one, who's a little fired up there. Logan Ooh. Reeder. Yeah, a nice shot in the seam there for Reeder. That'll take She's her back to serve. She's been pretty effective for the Guardians today. Exactly correct. 23-14, St. Joe's trails as Reeder fires a float serve deep. Great pass by Barant. And a great shot there by number three, Captain Chloe Bansley yeah, of the nice, Tartans. Nice offense there from the Tartans. It's a nice fast set out to the left side player, not giving the St. Joseph's Guardians middle time to close. Right side blocker for St. Joe's, perhaps leaving a little bit too much line there. Yep, I completely agree. Takes us to 24-14. Tartans lead the second set. Again, they lost the first set. So if they can pull this one out, we will be going to a third as Dovin gets the kill on that one from the right side for the Guardians. Nice sharp shot there from Dovin, effectively carving the turkey on that one. Yep. And she'll go back to serve. Of course, when there is a big block, sometimes you need to carve the turkey to avoid the stuffing. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. And with a big kill there, the Tartans end this second set, 25-15. We're going to three. A very authoritative kill from the Tartans to end the second set. Hopefully the Tartans can maintain their level of play. St. Joe's uh, elevate theirs to the first set, and we should have one heck of a third set for the final here. And we'll be back in a couple of minutes. We're back for the third set of the girls' final in the 34th annual Mount Royal Mustang Volleyball Classic, presented by Shaw. Shaw, we're more than just cable. This set is winner take all in this final match here for the women. St. Joe's versus the Tartans. St. Joe's took the first one handily. And then the Tartans came back and decided to do the same thing in the second set. So we're here in the final deciding set here. Back to serve is, I believe, Hadley Schmidt. The that setter for the Guardians. Good serve. And Barrett struggles with that pass as the Guardians attack from the left side. We'll see if Tartans can put this one over. A short free ball. They'll go back to the high ball. Oh, a little too cute with that one. Tried to get her down the line and went too far down the line. I think the set a little faster than ooh, the refs calling a touch or the linesman calling a touch. Uh, I'm going to say he was wrong. I am not going to say that, but I agree with you. <laughs> yeah, I think that should be the Tartans ball. Tartans get the ball. 
And good that was taken care of properly. Of course, we're very thankful for the work of our volunteer lines people. We are. Glad we cleared that up. Tartan's up by one in the third and final set. Emily Berenger to serve. Oh, and a indecisive pass there by the Guardians. And then she'll get the dig. Nice recovery there. Tartans will go to the high ball. Nice tip there. St. Joe's will go back to the high ball. Another tip, and that one will hit the pot. The old Eric Boone pot shot on that one. Yeah, almost undefendable. Beat right him with the, the of off speed. Back to serve, number 11. Danae Bristow. 1-1 one, one here in the third set. Good pass there. Number 11. Hits it off hands. There's St. Joe's right side. Ooh, can't handle the block there. That's a good job by the St. Joe's setter there, Hadley Schmidt, to get to the net from the back row on a fairly quick, tight pass, but a great job by the Tartans blockers there. Middle blocker got closed well. Corner blocker took away the seam. That's what happens. That's what you need. 2-1 Tartans lead. No amount of turkey carving could get around <laughs> that block. Amen. Oh, a block, but it's dug up. Great coverage there by the Tartans. A free ball, a struggle pass. Oh, a net play error there. Number one, Logan Reeder trying to flush the ball down. Unfortunately, was blocked by the tape. <laughs> All right, back to serve. We have Ellie Taylor for the Tartans. Her team up 3-1. Yes, the score is 3-1. Oh, and that's an ace for Taylor. Uh, Taylor's been serving very effectively for the Tartans, certainly in the second set. She'll go back to serve at 4-1. I just saw a little dance there on the bench by St. Joseph's Guardians. See if that motivates their team. As they, another struggled pass there. They'll give a free ball to the Tartans. And they'll set their right side. A big hit, but it's dug up. And then she returns it again. Number five, Danielle Weens with another kill. Yeah, number five just doing it all herself there with the kill and then hitting her own overbump. It's good work by number five, Danielle Weens. Timeout called by the Guardians at 5-1 for the Tartans. Coach Reeder trying to fire her girls up. Campbell Tartans with fairly good fan support. Yeah. Sounds like they have one fearless leader in the crowd. Voicing his encouragement, which is always encouraging. I'm certainly encouraged by it. <laughs> hopefully the Tartans can keep up with it and hopefully St. Joe's can pull up their socks here. Coach Reeder. Looked like she had some motivational things to say in that timeout. The girls certainly do look motivated. Mm -hmm. See if her talk if you're, changes if you're momentum. Campbell, you just keep doing what you're doing. It's been working for two sets now. Oh. Good serve and just like that, an ace. Number 12. Victoria Spur trying to track that one down from the bench, unable to. Another great serve from Allie Taylor. And if that Spur will go out for a rest and Toms will come in. And coach is trying to do all that she can to throw off the server here. Great pass there by the Guardians and that one's off the block but dug up, a great dig. And can't handle that one as the Guardians finally get back on the board here, 6-2. Yeah, nice flush down there from Emily Cornelson. Guardians will serve, that is Cornelson back to serve at 6-2 for the Tartans. Tartans looking to maintain their lead. Oh, aggressive serve. Pass well by Brandt. 
They'll go to the high ball, St. Joe's. That's dug by Barant, a great dig. As they put a free ball over to the Guardians in the middle. Oh, that one was going out. Just tag number three, Chloe Bansley on the end line. Great, uh, great series there from Barant. First with the great pass on a tough serve and then a really, really nice dig on the sharp cross shot. Unfortunately, the Tartans <coughs> couldn't handle the attack out of the middle. Got that correct. Yeah, Barant sure picked up her game here in the second and third sets. Rachel As Forbes to serve. Dug up by the Guardians. They'll go to the high ball, nice tip. Doug, but that's out of bounds. Good decision there by number four, Peyton Toms. Nice heads up play by the captain, Rachel Forbes in there making the serve and then a pretty good bump set. Indeed, and she'll go back to serve. Her team trails by two, 6-4 in this deciding set. Great pass by the libero, Brandt. Oh, and that one was crushed down the line. Called it in, beautiful that's, shot there. That's a great shot by Jody McKirkern. <laughs> McKirkern. I'm sorry for how I'm <laughs> pronouncing your name. Unless I'm right. No, you're not. Back but, to serve. But a, heck, a heck of a shot from her. She's been really effective hitting, hitting the ball down the line tonight. Yeah, she hits a heavy ball as she goes back to serve. Her team up 7-4. Oh, and that one goes into the top of the net. Perhaps a little too excited after the big kill. Mm -hmm. Back to serve, number one, Logan Reeder for St. Joe's. Down 7-5 in this third and final set. St. Joe's will sub in number 13, Ayaka Imamura. In place of Reeder, so she'll go back to serve. Again, 7-5, they trail. Float Gets serve. The left-handed serve. And free ball to St. Joe's. They'll go to the right side. Good rip off the block and dug. They'll go back to their right side. That one's blocked and covered by Barant. Dug up, oh, a sneaky little set there by St. Joe's. A lot of net play going on. They'll go to the high ball. A wobbler by number four, Peyton Toms with a some great, Some great defense there from Imamura, uh, which is particularly tough to do off the bench, so a great job by her to A, make a serve, and then make a difference like that right away. St. She... Joe's now down by only one. Tartan's up 7-6. That'll be 8-6 now for the Tartans, which of course brings us to the midway point of the third set. Teams will switch sides. As Weens with the kill again. And this is like you stated earlier, so the weather won't be a factor. Even playing field for both teams. That's exactly right. Back to serve, number seven, Victoria Aird. As you can hear, the Tartans fans really wanting to be heard here. Some encouraging words. Tartans will make a serving substitution, bringing in number 15, Willow Skagos. And we'll see if she can make a difference here. Her team leads 8-6 in the third set. Sky goes back to serve. Floater. Good spot there. They'll go to the right side, and a dig. As St. Joe's digs that one up. Free ball to the Tartans. They'll go middle. Tip just over and dug by the, t or by St. Joe's. That one's hit off the block. And they'll go to their high ball hitter. I don't know if there's any touches there. St. Joe's almost stopped playing, but luckily not. As they get the block there, and that one will count. Yeah, St. Joe's arguing for a no-touch call earlier in the rally. Of course, you always play until the whistle. Brings the Guardians to within one, 8-7 in this third set. Oh, a rocket there. 
This will be a free ball back to the Guardians as it's passed nicely. And they'll run the outside hitter. Chipped and that hits the floor. A lot of excitement there by number eight, Hadley Schmidt, off that kill. I thought she was the setter. Oh, she's a woman of many talents, I guess. Impressive. Impressive indeed. Back to serve, number four, Peyton Toms. Doing a great job after being subbed in here. 8-8, eight, eight, tie game in this third and final set. Deep serve to Barant, she handles it, goes up. And this will be a down ball to the Guardians. They'll go to the high ball. Oh, and Barant tried to one hand that one, but it hits the ceiling. Brett, I think that was an international shot. That was almost international, but unfortunately Barant got the hand on it, so. We'll just call it multinational. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Whatever it was, it was a great shot. A great shot. Tom back to serve. Toms, sorry. A good hit there by number three, Bansley. As St. Joe's digs that one up. Schmidt with the attack down the line, dug up. Oh, and a pipe by McKercher and just goes wide. I believe that is the first pipe we've seen all match. Perhaps there was one in the first set. I think that's the second one. Interesting sort of punch dig from the libero there. <laughs> oh. It is 10-8, I believe. More controversy regarding the score. 10-8, okay. Guardians. Bit of confusion. Guardians will take a timeout. Or perhaps the Tartans with the timeout. Mm -hmm. So despite the uh, blowout first set and second set, it's uh, developed into a pretty good third set here of this final. Mm -hmm. Going down to the wire here, 8-10. Tartans are down two here in the third. I think they want, or St. Joe's looked like they wanted 11, but I think the score is correct. Of course, uh, I would take all the points they would give me. Me too. I'd ask for 12. Yeah, why not? Never hurts to ask. <clears throat> As the Tartans try and regroup here, came out with an early lead in the third set. St. Joe's has battled back, and now they lead two, 10-8. See if Coach Tanya Harrison could get her girls fired up here to finish out the third set. Peyton Toms back to serve for the Guardians. See if the old high school timeout worked. It did could not. serve and they'll serve Barant. Oh, they'll run the, almost looked like it wanted to be a step but it was just an outside ball. They'll go to their captain, and she's blocked. Great block there by the Guardians. That's uh, number 10, Reese Ethier with the nice block. <clears throat> and now they do have 11. No controversy this time. No, 11-8, Guardians lead, third set. Tom's back to serve. Good deep serve, passed up by the Tartans and free ball given to the Guardians. Now it's dug up by Barant and she'll put a free ball over to the Guardians again. And that one's big rip off the middle but a good dig by the Tartans. As the Tartans captain puts it out of bounds. Really good rally by both teams. The uh, Tartans have certainly been more effective on defense in the second and third set. See a Tartan substitution bringing number nine, Sarah Bodoroga, into the match. She replaces the captain, number three, Chloe Bansley. Tom's back to serve, 12-8. Her team leads. Good serve, trouble. And they can't put it back. The Tartans with another timeout. 
The gym is getting quite loud. It is very loud. St. Joe's leading 13-8. Two points to go to win it all. This, right. the 34th annual Mount Royal Mustang Volleyball Classic. The down official, of course, uh, a spitting image of longtime Saskatchewan Husky volleyball coach, uh, club coach, and high school coach, Andrew Merriweather. Really a pillar in the volleyball community, Andrew Merriweather. Indeed. That actually might even be him. We don't know. It's impossible to tell the difference. Yep. 13-8, Guardians lead, third set. Again, first team to 15 wins, but you must win by two points. Back to serve, Peyton Toms. She's been back there a lot this set. And very consistent. That one's passed perfectly and they go with the dump. Dug up by the Guardians, they'll give them a free ball over. Good free ball pass and they'll run the middle and someone's on the net. It is the Tartans on the net, on the miscue on the 31. That'll bring Peyton Toms back to serve for match point. I'm hoping to see a spin to win. Yeah, I, uh, think, I think we're going to see it. I hope so. Got a comfortable lead, this is the time. It appears to be a float. Yeah, Toms will float. A good serve, but handled well by the Tartans. Oh, and a rip from McCurchin from the pipe. A nice pipe swing there from number eight, Jordy McCurchin. <laughs> yeah, I think they want to get her back into the front row, but they're going to have to do a lot of serving here to get that to happen. Yeah, she's certainly been their best attacker tonight. Oh, bit of a miscue. As they go to the right side, and that one is a shot just out of bounds. Good leave there by the libero, Ferrant. Seemed to be hit off the elbow of Hadley Schmidt. Came off with a bit of a weird uh, spin on it. Back to serve. Number. Number. Nope, no, nope. wrong. That's Weens back to serve. A good serve from Weens. Yeah, and they'll get a free ball back because of the serve. They go to the middle, tipped over, dug up by the Guardians. High ball, that one's tipped, but doesn't go over. 11-14. Bit of a comeback here for the Tartans. Hopefully not too little, too late. No. St. Joe's will call the timeout. And a lot of back and forth here, Danny. Yeah, it's really been back and forth. <laughs> of course, Tartans, if they can get to 14, Again, you have to win by two, so it's then much the game like a tennis continue. match. It is, yeah. except it's we just, use actual numbers. <laughs> yeah, and it's a better, just a better sport in general. Yeah. Oh, St. Joe's look like they're ready to go. Just a quick gathering of emotions and back out there. I think that was more of a high school timeout trying to ice Weems. I believe you're correct. Let's see if Weems is affected or not. Her team's down by three, 14-11. Third set. Just over the net, beautiful pass there. They go to the right side, roll shot, dumped, dug up by the gu Guardians. That one's off the block. Good communication to come in there. Oh, that one's blocked. Oh, and it's ba back to the Tartans. And they'll go deep, a nice spot. Pass up well. Dug up by the Tartans, still go to the captain. Nice shot there. Number three, Chloe Bansley comes in back, firing. Great defense by the Tartans here to keep themselves alive in this game. Haven't seen St. Joseph's go to uh, Danae Bristow out on the corner yet. I'd expect to see her get set here. See if she oh, can finish it. trickles over. Heavy ball, and that one's down, and that's it. And there you have it.
St. Joseph's Guardians win 15-12. In this, the 34th annual Mount Royal Mustang Volleyball Classic, presented by Shaw. An entertaining match, to say the least. Really looked one-sided off the start. Then the second side, or second set was also one-sided the other way. Then the third set turned out to be a pretty even match. That was a great third set from both teams. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. We will be back with the boys game shortly.